Oh yeah, sorry. I re I realized that there's uh, a lot of fan noise in the previous video. Okay, pardon me. All right, now, um, we were talking about um this previously, right? The desirable features of a thermometer. Okay, so uh, please take note. Okay, uh, this um you will need to memorize all this. Okay, because these are test um this can be tested. Okay, so uh do read your um notes. Okay, for the details regarding um all these um all these key terms over here. Okay, now, uh, of course um I'll need to talk about uh this idea of capillarity tube uh capillary tube. Okay, now, um, the thinner it is, okay, the more sensitive it will become. Okay, because for the same amount of liquid, okay, um, it it actually a uh, a thinner tube, right? Would mean that, okay, um, okay, let, let's just. An illustration okay so we have a thick tube and we have a thin tube okay now um, the, the idea is simple okay now sorry let me just okay so part of my drawing okay so um, the idea is simple okay so for this okay and for this they probably have the same amount of volume okay and therefore um, because they have the same amount of volume okay um, for a ch change in temperature, right? Um, now temperature only increases its volume. Okay, um, it doesn't really increase its height. Okay, the main factor that it changes is volume. So you expect that for the same amount of uh, temperature change, okay, H two will be greater than H one, since um, let's call this two and this is one since V two uh, equals to V one, okay, and uh, so the cross-sectional area okay um, and a1 is greater than a2 okay so naturally h2 will be greater than h1 so, okay so that's the idea of a capillary tube okay um please read your notes okay um i'll not go through these um, things quite straightforward okay so if um you do not understand anything on this three slide okay uh please uh let me know in class uh, when school reopens okay uh now uh, I would like to talk about the next uh, I issue in this chapter. Okay, um, uh, over here. Okay, so uh, this is it. Okay, now uh, Kelvin is the real. Okay, it's not really real, but uh, Kelvin is the is the default SI unit for uh, temperature. All right, so um, degrees Celsius is just uh, our common use. Okay. Just like how people have the misconception between weight and mass, right? All right. So Kelvin is the default SI unit for phys um in physics. Okay. Of course, uh, I'm talking about temperatures, temperature here, right? Okay. And if I'm not wrong, there's a degree Fahrenheit. Okay. This is used in USA. Okay. Um, not sure why USA likes to do this. Okay, but they like to use uh, SI units different from us. All right. So. Um, I do not know about this, okay, but it's fine. We are not interested in this today. We are only interested in degrees Celsius and Kelvin. Alright, so let me continue. Now, um, if you look at your notes, it's pretty simple. Uh, Kelvin, to convert from Kelvin and Celsius, okay, so um, it's written on your notes, okay. Uh, Kelvin equals to the degree um, theta, degrees plus 273. Um, yeah, okay, so that will be it, okay. Basically, that's it. Yeah, so. Um, if I will tell you 100 degrees Celsius, that will be 2, um, okay, 100 degrees Celsius equals to what Kelvin, right? Okay, so you will take um, 100 plus 273, and this is equal to 373 Kelvin. Now the 273 is constant, right? Now how about 0 degrees Celsius? So 0 degrees Celsius is equals to um, 273 Kelvin. Right now, uh, why 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 do you use uh, Kelvin as a default unit then? Why Kelvin? All right, because um, there's another reason. Okay, so so now we know that zero degrees Celsius corresponds to two seventy three Kelvin, right? And we know that hundred degrees Celsius corresponds to three seventy three Kelvin, right? Okay, now um, because temperature is a scalar unit. Okay, so uh, remember that T is scalar, so there is no reason why it can be negative, right? So you expect that um, zero Kelvin is the minimum value, 
okay uh, there shouldn't be anything lesser than zero Kelvin of course um, if you further study your physics um, you know that what I say here is not exactly true okay but for now um, this is true zero Kelvin is the minimum value so uh, things cannot go be below zero Kelvin alright so um, yeah basically zero Kelvin will correspond to negative 273 degrees Celsius okay so this is the lowest temperature any object can go by far okay and when I say object I really mean element also okay this is the lowest temperature uh, any element can go to okay so uh, it cannot be lower than 0 Kelvin okay there's um, there's no yeah I mean there's no physical significance to it okay if you look at it uh, from this perspective that temperature is a scalar all right uh, it can't go in another direction right all right so basically um, that's the idea for uh, Kelvin and degrees Celsius okay it's pretty straightforward uh, do try example 3 and example 4 all right uh, before you try example 3 or 4 or uh, you may want to pause and yeah look at other part of the video before you look at the answer all right try first before you look at the answer all right so that's it for this part of the video i'll stop here the next video we will be really looking at the workings of a thermocouple which is the third objective of this entire chapter all right